Hello everybody, my name is Seb and welcome to Chocolate Cookies. And what was the point of me saying that because I know Matt's gonna edit all that out. Tosser. Wait, now he's gonna leave that in. <laughs> about this game other than it's called the park and it looked really creepy. I didn't even bother reading the description. I just saw the picture, I thought that looks creepy as hell. I'm gonna buy it. Hey it could go terribly wrong. But there's only one way to find out and that's by playing it. So here we go. New game. Narrative experience. Place in a dark room wearing headphones. There's a suit matter that maybe it is done for some player. During the course of play the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control techniques, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be... Huh? So he wants me to turn off the light. But if I do that, can you still see me? Not very well. Hmm. What if I make it a bit more subtle and artistic? And burn my hand on the lamp! Ah! Ah! Fudge! That hurts so much! Ah! Ah! Note to self, don't handle the lamp when it's really freaking hot. Funcom presents. In my heart that and mind, doesn't sound like I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Oh, she sounds so depressed. Stay in the car. Ugh. Okay. Eklan Atlantic Island Park. Bingo! Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please okay. make your way to the car park. Hey, look. It's a Teletubby's son and the Adipose from Doctor Who. Cool. Wait, I kind of forgot what I was meant to be doing. Uh. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite Aww. place in the world. Okay, cool. Yep, I'm not going to read that. I should have read that for you guys, but I'm sure you can read. I'll read the next one. It's fine. I got your back. Information. What? Ah, uh, she's been smoking that Mary Jane. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Lost my car the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Is it me, or does he sound really creepy and sinister? Like, even just transform. La 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 Oh, that's pretty Callum, cool. I told like you the to audio, wait in the, car. the way it bounces way. off things. An achievement! Yes! Come on! Get in there. You look very domineer, so uh, if I may say so. You look like you've just got an achievement yourself. Achievement unlocked. Stand by rainbow. Yes! Right, okay. <clears throat> Callum, hey, I see you. There where you are. are you going? Over There's something here. special about the entrance to an amusement park. Who who walks? No, who doesn't walk on the escalator? On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention, employees. The park is now closed. 
Have a safe journey home. Okay, you've told the employee. here. Oh no, Sideshow Alley? That uh, roller coaster bumper cars, House of Horrors, no. Octo. Octo Dad. No! Tunnel of Tales. Oh, this sounds like a freaking fun time. Someone's dropped their, their, their bag of stuff. I'm gonna just walk like this. Ma, I'm looking at scary at all, is it? Jesus Christ, I'm biking. Callum, out. stay where you are. Uh, no, no, that was like American Horror Story Freak Show. Wait, Callum. Callum, you twat, get back here. Oi. Oh, ah, oh, bats, I like that. Carrie Killen is Satan's whore. Oh, wreck it. That's a burn. I don't know who Carrie That's Killen me. is. I hope it's not a Carrie from oh, Carrie, me. even though it's Carrie White. Little swine. That looks like the squirrel from Conquest Bad Foot Third Day. Examine shoe. That's a very pretty. I think this shoe. belongs to Kelm. Oh my god, I think it belongs to Kelm. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice following locations. 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley. 1 p.m. The Octron Octodad Douche. 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Chad Chim Chipmunk worst in class. Chad can't even see the pass. Seem to pass. Into English. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Oh! Chad will die. Oh! Ah, oh, that. Oh, poor Chad. No, you won't. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Finn Balor impression. No, you won't. You won't die as well. Normally, the save points in. Or a big ass thing, what? I've ruled. I've ruled. I wonder what note. this is. Purchase the... Yeah, you can read that if you want. Yeah, you can read that if you want. I'm gonna read the end. This is the start of something amazing. Yeah, probably is. Yeah, that rhyme was far too small. I'm not reading that. I'm not gonna get... Yes, also save. I like it. Come back, Callum. I like he's gonna hear Catch that. Me, mommy. <laughs> what was Hello? that? Callum, stay where you are. Water. Ah, I hate that. No. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. I just heard someone say a bought. They were um. Okay. This might have been a bad idea to play this game. I'm gonna stick to American Nightmare. I I know where I stand on that game. 
Another accident. Oh, this place. Okay, here we go again. I'm back on the Mary Read note. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity to dedicate what was needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson's fourth astonishing think resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process of Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taint that is still lingers on this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if it has all been for nothing. That's a dead teddy bear. Me. Okay. Right. Don't hide from me, Callum. This way. Yeah, don't hide from me. Yes. This way, mommy. Can anyone else hear a side man or a Dalek? I can. That, that's that's disturbing. Oh, screw you, Dad! You twat. You put me through enough torment, and if you don't know what I'm on about, go back into the Octo Dad section, watch some of the videos. I get for sure. That bloody Octo Dad. Where are you? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Examine the poor. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Right. Frank and the boys, his fellow. Oh dear. Right. My man was calm and picking away at my eyes. First, we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more thighs fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling at that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural. That made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey, and that the thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving, and said something rude to the guy in the chair. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground. He was stabbed, stabbed, stabbing with the ice pick, and the blood was splaying, and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. The last thing Frank dragged me away was that eyeball of one of those poor kids that landed on the ice pick. Horrible. Oh my god, that's so freaking good. Pretty cool, Come man. Back. Pretty cool. In a disgusting, oh my god. What? Right, where are you? Can't even jump. Oh, I remember this. Ha! Ah, it's me and Callum. Achievement, family ties. Ooh, that's a show story. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there. And so far from my expectations, they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous. Oh, thought. oh, there's something in there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but in the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and most of the staff spend their days standing and gossiping, and most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Stephen. 
See, even I was acting called him Chad, Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad, the chipmunk. Child friendly mascot, Atlantic Island Park. Look up, lock up your daughters and all that. Like Rick Flair's coming. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it's little things like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with me every single day. But then I saw him at Sue's dinner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff co complained discreetly, part manager about the smell. Mr. The owner. I've changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. Apparently, Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him. He's up in the gutter outside the, the cycle station because he sure as hell can carve a mean eye sculpture. Those shapes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps by the booth. And he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I screwed what I was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I came by Chad, Steve. Everything in writing. Also, I quit. Don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Hannah. Cheers, Laura. Stop! Bloody Tell him! <laughs> about that. Jesus! Ah! Oh, Pour a muscle in my leg! Ah! 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 Tosser! Ah! Ah, you know I don't use profanities, but that... That was... Oh! Jesus! I wish there was a home base nearby. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. You. You. Right. Oh, I've, I've even disconnected the, the wire. Oh my god. Oh. What a bitch. Sorry. But she is. Yeah? Let me add her. Let me add her. Mm. Um. Callum. Yeah. Tell mommy where you are. This way. Oh. That. That was not cool, okay? That was a big ball of dicks. You know what? I'm done here. I'm gonna leave this right there. No more. Okay? I'm done. I'm done for this episode. I will I will play it again. Here. I'm gonna leave this right there. No more. Okay? I'm done. I'm done for this episode. I will I will play it again. But not right now. No 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 no. That's all we got time for this episode. And you know what? I'm gonna do the outro, Matt. Bring it on. Yeah? Until next time, keep being awesome. Peace.